All right, what's going on guys? Casual Fisherman here, bringing you another casual fishing video. And today, oh man, let me tell you something guys. I have not caught in a bass in over three weeks. It's pushing four weeks now. I have been struggling so hard to even get a bite, let alone actually land anything the past couple weeks. Plenty of reasons why, most because I suck, but we won't, we won't talk about that. We'll, I'll, we'll just pretend I'm actually good at fishing here, but um, Anyways, I'm fishing on a pond today that I feel pretty confident I can catch some fish at. Not a lot of big fish here. There are some big fish here, but they're definitely a little more tricky to actually catch. But there's a lot of small fish here. And honestly, I'm just hoping to build some confidence up today. That's really all I want to do. I just want to build some confidence and then go after some bigger some bigger fish. Go, go fish at some more riskier ponds in the future. But today, I want to, I want to get some confidence up today. So that will be the goal. And also... I want to use this video as a bit of a test video because I want to change how I do my videos and hopefully you guys will notice a difference when I'm doing this. So without further ado, let's catch some fish today guys. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh my god. So some of you guys will be noticing, I only have two rods today, and that's because, well, unfortunately the old spinning setup finally bit the dust. <laughs> the uh, handle on the reel fell off again for the second time, and while I do have a replacement for it, I don't, I'm just tired of having to fix it every, like, two weeks it seems like. So I am officially going to retire the spinning setup. So that being said, if you guys have any suggestions for a decent quality spinning set that won't break the bank, I am certainly all ears. Now let's see, let's see what I'm dealing with here. Wow, this water is dirty. It is so dirty. It's also because we had like four inches of rain the past two days, but wow. Anyways, normally they're stacked up on this little fountain in the water, so I bet, I bet they're hanging out here. Let's, uh, let's open up with the uh, I'm gonna open up the shaky head. Should be a good color for this. Actually cleaner than it looks, but there's a little bit of visibility, but definitely dirtier than normal. What in the world's going on here? There we go. There we go. Come on, keep that head down. <laughs> Look at this guy jumping. Just scratching my ear, and then all of a sudden this dude came up and clapped it. Come on, come on. If that doesn't sum up the last month of my fishing, I don't really know what else does. <sighs> you know, this, this reel is just way too... The drag's just not right on that. I'm lucky that wasn't a bigger fish. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sum up the past freaking month of fishing. I really don't know what, what else does. <sighs> that sucks. All right, well, you know, only been here for 10 minutes. I already got a, already got a good bite, so it's a good sign. No need to despair yet. 
and I'm seeing lots of activity, which is really good. Oh, let's see here. I think the color I want to go with is chameleon. That should be good. Because despite the fact that the water is rather stained, it's actually has decent clarity on it. It's like a couple inches. Um, where's a looking for like a, a weight? I probably will swim this around a little bit too to see if they're wanting anything moving. There we go. I believe this is a one quarter ounce weight. It's probably not in, it's probably not in view. <laughs> Sorry guys. And tie that son of the gun on there. Like I said, this is the Strike King Rage Bug in chameleon coloring. And before you ask, I have no idea what the snot's called. <laughs> Just the one my dad taught me how to use. Alright, let's give that a try. Hydrate. Getting that time of year again, folks. When it's important to keep hydrated. Not super warm today. Gonna get about 80 degrees, but it's Oklahoma. It won't be long until it's about 10,000 degrees. What's going on here? This guy's pulling really hard. That's a two-pounder. Oh, man, he clobbered it too. Gosh dang it, dude. I'm just having the worst luck right now. That's a chunk. <sighs> There's no way he's coming back too. Just kill my confidence right now. You know, when you go three straight trips, I'm even catching anything, and then I've already had two break not break off it, jump off my feet already today. It's just it's just great for the confidence. It really makes me want to come out here and fish. There we go. Stay down. Come on in here. Yay! <laughs> oh man, look at the way he ate that. I think he won it. Look how angry he is. It's an angry fish. Let's get a quick picture. Gotta commemorate the moment I catch my first fish in a bazillion years. There we go. Alright, not a big one. Actually, he looks like he has melanosis. That's cool. Let's have a look at him. He's got some cool markings. Pretty little fish. Not a big one. And some sharp little teeth. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but... You know what? I will take it. I will take it. And the skunk is over. Skunk is off the bank. <sighs> Alright, let's get some right, confidence back a little bit. Confidence is back. Still mad about missing that fish, though. Ah, it sucks. All right, that's cool, though. That's awesome. We got a fish. We got a fish. Positive, positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Crunch this little Strike King Rage Bug. First time I've ever caught in a bass on it. Have caught in a kitty on it, but not a bass.
That's a, oh man, it's, it's gotta be this hook or something. It's gotta be this hook or something. Hook feels pretty sharp. Man, I mean, it wasn't a big one, but about the size of the one I caught earlier. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the hook or if it's the size of the bait, if it's the rod, if it's me. Probably a little bit of everything. I was watching them catch a fish. Now I got one on two. I swallowed it. <laughs> swallowed it. They're after hammering this rage bug. Green side really let them, I accidentally really let them eat this, but. Yeah, oh, it barely <laughs> wasn't really hooked that bad either. About the same size as the last one. Actually, what, are they the same one? Nah, different, slightly different markings, I think, but it's fish number two. Besides, his teeth definitely are not as sharp as the last one. That's fish number two today. <clears throat> Thanks for splashing the camera, dude. <laughs> Thanks for playing that. Fish number two today. Did he get you? Nope. I think you're good. But just in case. I'm starting to really notice a bit of a... Maybe not a pattern, but... Kind of a pattern here, but... I'm starting to notice that a lot of these bites happen when I'm not paying attention. So I'm kind of wondering, maybe if I kind of zling it off the bottom for a minute is enough to get them to, to eat. Oh my. What just happened? Did my line just break off? Anyways, so, not entirely sure what happened there. We'll say if anyone's watching at this point, um, in about two weeks or so, I will be off for the summer from college classes. Only have two weeks left. That can be very fun. Two weeks, it's dead week and finals week, which means lots and lots of work and studying and all sorts of fun stuff. Anyways, but in well, about two weeks, I'm going to have a lot more time on my schedule. And considering the pandemic, I'm definitely not going to be doing, well, probably not the normal things I'd be doing over the summer, like hang out with friends and going to gatherings and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a lot more time to fish this summer, most likely. So I'm really going to spend a lot of time this summer fishing, work on this channel, and trying to improve it. And, tr and trying to improve it, I should say. That's the proper English for that. But yeah, hopefully uh, you guys are looking forward to that. I'm certainly looking forward to uh, really trying to get this channel my A-game. I'm going to try to give my A-game for about three months. Or during the summer. Let's see. Just see what happens. I don't really have a particular goal in mind, but definitely just wanna I just wanna see what happens if I put all my time towards it. Maybe not all my time, but I put a lot of my time and effort towards it. I wanna see what happens. Alright guys, so I'll be off for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I did go I did go fish one of the spot like I said I would and I didn't catch anything, so don't worry about just don't worry about that. Nothing, nothing, nothing interesting at all happened in there. But overall, somewhat pleased by how today went. I accomplished my goal of actually catching a fish and managed to get my fishing abilities, self-esteem, up a little bit because I managed to catch a few fish, which was definitely it's the old, the old confidence up a little bit. Because like I said, rough couple of weeks. I mean, literally th over three and a half weeks of no bass, and quite frankly, only, only had one bite in three weeks. It, it, it was stupid. It, it, Literally one of the worst stretches of fishing I've had in my life. Well, ever since I really started getting back into fishing about this time last year. Anyways, a little disappointed about missing that one decent fish. I was probably two and change. Not really sure. I'll have to look back at the footage. And overall, I kind of disappointed about the fact that I missed like three or four fish on the trench hook. Not really sure what happened there. Not sure if it was a me problem, a bait problem, a hook problem, a rod problem, or just some sheer bad luck. Or maybe it was all, all, those, all those problems combined. Tough to say. I'll look back at it. But... Overall, I'm not going to focus on the negatives for the most part, and just be happy I caught some fish. So anyways, I will apologize about the lack of 
big fish today and the lack of content as a, as, as a whole here in, in April. I appreciate it for sticking around. And um, I will say, this is a heads up, these next couple weeks are probably a little slow as well. But like I said, in two weeks I'll be off for the summer. And well, because of the virus, I'm not going to have that much to do this summer. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing, as I already said. So expect some changes, and hopefully you guys will like them. So with that being said, at the center, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And you guys will enjoy this point. Keep it casual, folks.